The three position Yichuan is a standing meditation. The standing meditation is to help you to learn how to relax, how to hold your structure up, but using the least amount of muscle that you can possibly use, using the breath, guiding it with your mind to relax the different parts of the body, any part of the body that starts to get tight as you're holding the positions, leading your breath there, expanding that part of your body, and relaxing it. I'm going to show you the three different uh, positions for the three Yi Chuan, and we're going to start with the stance. So the stance is, once again, our feet shoulder width apart, and go ahead and shrug the shoulders up, over, back, and down. So you want to have a slight bounce to the knees, have them be very light and unlocked. The hips need to be directed forward and down so that there's no curve in the small of the back, keeping the small of the back relaxed. From there, you can roll the shoulders up, over, back, and down, relaxing the shoulders. A slight in with the chin, and then a tug at the top of the head, right at the crown, just at the back of the crown. And from that point, you're like a marionette, and the rest of the spine relaxes down. So that's the stance for the three each one. And with the hands by the sides, the middle finger slightly touching the seam of the pant, this is one of the wuji, or empty stance, positions. You can stand in this position for as long as you'd like to relax the body, to find your po proper posture, and also to begin directing the breath. The breath in the wuji position is the microcosmic orbit breath. So as you breathe in, you're elongating the whole spine, coming up and over the crown of the head. Now, as you come down the front of the body, you're relaxing all the muscles as you guide the breath down underneath the crotch area, and then up again, elongating the whole spine, breathing in, and out. Getting into position number one, you're breathing in, gather up, the elbows are higher, coming up both meridians, and then out and forward with the hands and the wrist, and relaxing the shoulders and the collarbone. This is the high hug the ball or hug the tree pose. The fingers are slightly ajar, but not too much so that you're holding tension. The thumbs are slightly facing towards the ceiling. You can imagine that there's a rope tied around the base of each thumb and that, that's what's holding your arms up. The elbows are out and slightly down. The shoulders and collarbone are relaxed. That is position number one. So you can think of this in a couple of different ways, like you're holding a very large balloon. You're just squeezing it enough to keep it from floating up if it was filled with helium. Or you can imagine that you have a ball in each hand, and in between these, you're holding up a ball, a third ball in the center between these two balls. Continue to try to relax as you get tight in the shoulders and the shoulder caps up across here in the trapezius, breathing into that space and trying to relax. The second position is you let the arms sink down into a diamond shape and pull in slightly with the hands and up slightly. So in this position, the elbows are still out, but once again, you're holding the ball in. There's a triangle between the palms of your hands, so one line of the triangle goes from palm to palm and then from each palm to the Dan Dan area. The Dan Dan about an inch and a half or three fingers below your navel and the same amount inside your body. 
holding that position, once again, staying relaxed. From there, going to the third position, you let the elbows stay where they're at. You let the forearms sink down, fingertips facing towards the floor. Then keeping the elbows at the height they're at, you want to press back till the hands are even with the seam of the hand. Then rotate the hands out and palms facing out. So if you were standing in the doorway, each hand would be on the door jam on either side of you. At first, when you're holding this position, you're just doing the normal full breath. And then for the second half of the moves, uh, as you're holding this position, you want to move slightly. And what you would do with that is press out with your intent in the hands as you're breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, pressing out with the hands, but not moving the skeleton, breathing in. So you do that three to five times. That ends position number three. From there, you relax the shoulders and the hands down. Bring the hands in front of the thighs, drawing the fingers up the meridians again, and coming back into position number one again, which you should find it to be much lighter and easier to hold. And you hold that for as long as you care, and then relaxing down. So if you find yourself shaking, while you're holding the meditation positions. Don't worry about that. Don't try to augment the shaking. Also, don't try to purposely stop it. Let it stop on your own. Try to continue to breathe and relax into it. Working through a shaking sequence means that you're releasing nervous energy from the body and you have a chance to relax a certain part of your body that is holding tension. You also might become very sweaty, the palms might become hot, you might become slightly faint. Uh, you also might, uh, the mind might start to go off of why am I doing this anyway, or this is stupid, etc., etc. Just try to ignore all of that and come back to the breath. Let the breath bring you back to your basis, your root, your foundation, and give you a good meditative feeling. So now we're going to go ahead and do the set. I'm going to hold it for about 10 breaths each, and you're welcome to do it along with me. <laughs> 